opportunities for financial support of the business in view of the imposed state of emergency and the increasingly tangible economic instability. Measures to limit the effects of the pandemic are taken through government and European programs and products developed by various financial institutions. For legal entities and individuals, debt debtors under a loan agreement concluded before 31st of March 2020, mechanisms for deferral and settlement of liabilities are already provided. These mechanisms were laid down in the so-called bank moratorium, which established the procedure for deferral of due liabilities. In order to maintain employment and support employers, the possibility of receiving state compensation, the so-called 60 to 40 measure was provided. It provides the possibility of assisting employers who have suspended their activities or introduced part-time work due to the state of emergency. A program for interest-free loans granted by the Bulgarian Development Bank intermediaries was developed for self-insured persons, including company managers, as well as persons employed under an employment contract. Apart from all these measures, a number of other programs are envisaged, aimed at financial support for citizens and business. In view of the time we have today and the field of activity of the participants in the webinar, we will pay attention only to some of those tools which we consider the most relevant. We, of course, are ready to provide more detailed information about each tool if you're interested. For the purposes of the webinar, we have made a kind of classification of the financial instruments as it is prepared on the basis of similarities in the structure and characteristics of the programs and their re relevance to the webinar. In view of their purpose, the financial instruments are divided into those created on the occasion of the pandemic and programs that existed before it but are in the process of transformation and adaptation to the new reality. In view of the type of the aid, the funds are divided into those that are not repayable, meaning that they are um, gratuitous, and aid provided in the form of new credit lines, guarantee schemes providing soft loans and financial instruments for equity participation. In view of the individuals from whom the program or the program product is intended, they could be defined as common for the enterprises, including micro, uh, small and medium enterprises, and as specialized, those related to companies operating in certain areas and technologies, such intended for enterprises in separate sectors, and for example, tourism or uh, intellect or technologies, and last but not least, as such intended for nature of persons on an employment contract or self-insured. In view of the stage of their development, the programs are divided into those that have been developed and already exist, and those that are in the process of development. It is important to know what are the terms used in the Small and Medium-Sized Enterprises Act, it, in that regard, the traders within the meaning of the Commerce Act are divided into the following groups. Micro-enterprises, these are enterprises that have a staff up to 10 employees and an annual turnover and or value of assets up to 3.9 million. Under small enterprises, um, they refer to the law refers to those enterprises which have a staff of up to 50 employees and an annual turnover up to 9.5 million. Lastly, under medium-sized enterprises, we will understand those enterprises with a staff of up to 250 employees and an annual turnover, turnover up to 97.5 million. The law provides the basis on which these data are determined. We'll be using the abbreviation SMEs when referring to micro, small and medium-sized enterprises. Now I'm giving the floor to my colleague Dobromir Efimov, who will introduce you the opportunities that the Bulgarian Development, Development Bank has. Thank you. Thank you once again from me. Um, as my colleague announced, can you hear me actually? 
Okay. Uh, so, uh, as my colleague announced, uh, I will be presenting you the programs that the Bulgarian Development Bank, or BDB uh, for short, has or plans to have in uh, its portfolio. The first, uh, firstly, I will talk um, about the program for startups and micro uh, enterprises affected by the COVID-19. Uh, it is implemented through the microfinance micro institution Jobs, a subsidiary of the uh, Bulgarian Bank uh, Development Bank. This program is developed by the by the bank and has already provided customers with the opportunity to apply. Uh, the aim, let me just uh, yeah, present you with the next slide. Can you, can you see the slide? Yeah, it's okay, don't worry. Okay. okay. So uh, the aim of the program is to uh, support the most affected sectors of the pandemic, meaning uh, retail, transport, hotels and restaurants, tourism, etc. Uh, the purpose of the support is to provide continuation of the commercial activity of the companies as well as to ensure job preservation during the crisis. The target group for which this program is uh, intended would be legal entities. Originally, uh, this program is, was meant uh, for legal entities and farmers, but uh, as the program is now targeted to COVID-19, it is... Uh, uh, more uh, widespread. As far as the requirements are concerned, uh, there, should, uh, there should be shortages of working capital for the applicants due to the force majeure uh, related to the economic crisis caused by, by, the, by the pandemic, uh, as well as the applicants should have good credit history. Uh, and no public liabilities and no enforcement proceedings opened against them. The lending mechanism uh, in this program is uh, mainly credit lines or working capital loan, as well as short-term loans. The maximum amount of the loan can be up to uh, 4,800 uh, uh, BGN uh, level. The repayment period is up to 60 months for credit lines and within 36 months for working capital loans. The grace period is up to 24 months and the financial cost includes the maximum annual interest rate, which is amounting to up to 10%, as well as fees of 0.5%. The collateral type is primarily promissory notes and co-debtorship. Uh, it may include uh, European guarantees. Regarding the unsecured loans for small um, for small enterprises, the Bulgarian Development Bank is ready to provide portfolio guarantees covering up to 80% of the principal on the loans, including on the basis of the uh, program. The program envisages two sub-portfolios for existing loans, to which the commercial banks can apply changes in payment schemes uh, and re renegotiate uh, new loans for liquidity needs, including for payment of salaries, rents, um, as, as well as uh, costs, uh, costs directly related to the pandemic. Uh, refinancing of uh, loans within this program is uh, not allowed. Regarding the stage of deployment, the program is currently under development and we believe that the product will be on the market by the end of this month. The target group for which the program is intended are uh, small and medium-sized enterprises without any restriction in the type of activity performed. The main requirement that should uh, be fulfilled by the applicant is that the enterprises should not be in difficulty until uh, 31st of December 2019. There are additional requirements which only uh, which only one is enough to be fulfilled for the program to be uh, approved for the program. And there are the the enterprise itself should have a decrease in the turnover for the first quarter of 2020 or 
existence of um, receivables from customers that have not yet been collected or uh, unpaid suppliers after the 1st of March 2020 or terminated deliveries of imports necessary for the activity of the enterprises. Uh, the relevant date here is 1st of January 2020. And last, that, uh, last um, requirement that can be, uh, can be fulfilling the requirements here would be uh, cases of illness or self-isolation of employees, total reduction of the number of employees, uh, closed production of facilities, premises and offices. The enterprises show, um, show apply for loans before the Bulgarian Development Bank, uh, partner banks uh, of their choice. So they are, uh, the, the program itself is under, um, under development and the partnering banks are uh, yet to be disclosed. The maximum uh, loan amount cannot exceed 300,000 uh, leva. However, the amount of the loan or loans um, that are granted to the individual beneficiary will be determined by a special order that takes into account the maturity of the loan. Namely, um, it is before or after December uh, 31st of 2020. The deadline for uh, applications is 23rd of December. The grace period is up to 36 months. The interest rates are not yet specified and the collateral is expected to be with very reduced requirements. More information about this product, uh, we advise you to uh, follow the website of the Bulgarian uh, Development Bank. Uh, and for the next product, I'll give the floor to uh, attorney Borodjeva, as uh, she will introduce you to the product uh, provided by the fund manager of financial instruments in Bulgaria, called Fund of Funds for short, or just the fund. So. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the fund, we'll call it the fund to be easier for all of you, is working actively to present possible measures to address the economic consequences of the unprecedented public health crisis. The main role of the fund is to impl uh, implement financial instruments in the country through investments with European and private funds. The financial instruments offered by the fund are risk sharing, financing, equity and quasi equity investments and guarantee schemes. Through the instruments, uh, including risk sharing financing, fund manager will provide financial resources to financial intermediaries for building loan portfolios, meeting the eligibility criteria of the respective operational program. Now they have a program for granting soft loans for certain categories of individuals uh, and this program is the risk sharing microfinance facility. The risk sharing uh, microfinance facility is an instrument funded by the operational program human resources development co-financed by the European Structural and Investment Fund currently operating with the possibility to increase the plant resource. The main purpose of the program is to support the creation and development of startups and social enterprises, as well as financial support for natural persons who otherwise, uh, things being equal, would not have access to funding, maintaining uh, and other purposes of maintaining of the employment. The institutions that provide access to the program are financial intermediaries of the fund, namely First Investment Bank, CIS Credit, and Microfund. Regarding the target group for which the program is intended, in, uh, that would be startups with up to two years of financial history. There is an idea to increase uh, that deadline to five years. They did not. Uh, the, the company should not uh, have distributed profit and um, entrepreneurs are actually participating in the activity and do not own other companies. Other uh, target group are the self-employed uh, individuals 
um, that I will not stop on them, and social enterprises, as well as startups created by vulnerable groups from young people up to 29 years, unemployed, etc. And now they are discussing expansion of the circle of individuals for whom the program will be um, uh, working. Eligible funding activities should cover the following parameters. Acquisition of tangible and intangible fixed and short-term assets. Working capital for development, development or expansion of the activity. Specific and professional training of the employees, workers or uh, the entrepreneur or the self-employed individual. Fin uh, financial intermediar uh, intermediaries shall set additional requirements for applicants for this program. The program envisages the following forms of uh, microfinance, namely, namely investment loan, short-term working capital loan, revolving credit line, overdraft, financial leasing and reverse leasing. The amount of support at this stage is ranging uh, from 5,000 leva up to approximately 50,000 leva. The maximum prepayment period is up to 10 years. The grace per period is up to two years for investment loan and between three and nine mon months for working capital. The program is ensuring a low interest rate and uh, collateral. No fees and commissions are foreseen up to now. Uh, the next program um, or product uh, operated through the fund is the sub-fund, which is called Urban Development Fund. The program is currently in force. Uh, the main purpose of the program is to support projects improving the urban environment, stimulating economic growth and region, regions and contributing to energy efficiency as well as projects related to tourism and cultural heritage. Acquisition or construction of fixed assets working capital related to the project VIT. Institutions providing access to the program are for the region South and Sofia, Association Fund for Sustainable Cities, which includes UBB, Fund Flag, Fund for Sustainable Urban Development and Bulgarian Consulting Organization. For the North region, region uh, uh, it's the Regional Fund for Urban Development, owned by uh, Societe Generale, Elana Investment, Elana Holding and Balkan Advisors. The target group uh, for which the program is intended here are private companies, public-private partnerships, natural persons, enterprises affected by the crisis, including directly affected sectors like transport, tourism and others. The maximum amount of the funding is up to 20 million euro for tourism and cultural heritage, heritage is up to 10 million euro, including self-participation. The term of financing is from one to 20 years, depending on the sector and at interest rates significantly below the market. The focus of the grace period is on the principle, which is up to three years. The collateral requirements are significantly relaxed. Um, I will only mention the other um, instruments, uh, one of which is the financial instrument for development of the water sector, uh, as well investments in the waste sector, so and financing for small and medium businesses, which is uh, an instrument under development. And now I'm giving the floor to Dobromir, who will introduce you with equity and quasi-equity investments of the fund. Thank you. Uh, so now I'm going to present you the equity and quasi-equity investments. These investments are aimed to support access to finance for target groups of financial recipients in accordance with the objectives of uh, OPIC, 2014-2020, including increasing the prospects for uh, survival for startups and small to medium-sized enterprises, support for entrepreneurship and sustainable and 
knowledgeable based business models, commercialization, internationalization of uh, research and development, promotion of innovation. Amendments here are foreseen for greater flex flexibility for the program. So in that regard, we cannot go into more details into, into this uh, program. Uh, I will talk about the, uh, venture, the venture capital fund. Uh, it is um, uh, the purpose of, the, of this uh, fund is to provide financial support for startups, innovative uh, enterprises in the first five years of their development, which will increase the chances of survival of the small and medium sized uh, enterprises, as well as the support of entrepreneurship. Um, institutions providing these products would be uh, financial intermediaries of the fund, namely Morningside Hill. Target groups for which the, the program is intended are startups and innovative enterprises, uh, micro, uh, micro enterprises, small and medium sized enterprises that are based in Bulgaria, including uh, um, including uh, some startups that are targeting into the research uh, area. Specific for this investment fund are the additional strategic support and mentoring provided by the fund manager to the companies in which uh, it invests. Investments through ownership in startups uh, is here actually the support mechanism and the innovative uh, enterprises or the opportunity to acquire one. Here, uh, the uh, ownership is without requiring any management. Uh, subsequently, within three to seven years, uh, the fund will withdraw from the investment by selling to new or existing investors. The amount of support uh, is ranging from 1.5 to 7 million leva. Next would be the Fund for Acceleration and initial financing. Let me just share you the screen. Uh, this fund uh, is actually divided into three funds. The first one is called Fund for Acceleration and Pre-Seed Financing uh, at Stage 1. This is provided by Innovation Acceleration Bulgaria. The second uh, fund is called Fund for Acceleration and seed financing at stage two. It is provided by Vitusha Venture Partners Association. The third fund is a fund for startup financing provided by Nevec Management. The purpose of the program is to ensure financial support for startups, innovative enterprises aimed at increasing the prospects for survival at, at the, of startups as well as the support for sustainable and knowledgeable based business models. This is a, a target for the, uh, for the fund. Uh, next, uh, next, I'll present you with the uh, support mechanism, which is actually investments through equity instruments, namely shares, other transferable securities or equivalent rights or instruments that give a right to participate in the capital of the company. The amount of the support is ranging from 50,000 to 2 million uh, level. The investment period is five years and the total duration of the three funds uh, should be up to 10 years with the opportunity uh, to more uh, one to one year periods. Um, so in that regard, I'll continue with this uh, with the next fund. This would be the fund for technology transfer, the technology transfer fund. Uh, this is the concept uh, developed uh, so far by the fund of funds is provide uh, is to provide for the total budget for the financial instruments uh, to be divided into two sub funds thus targeting separate segments of the potential final recipients, namely uh, support of companies, projects from the 
concepts from the concept to the production phase. And secondly, to financing in the implementation of eligible projects, including enterprises for mass production, distribution and expansion. Currently, the program is on, the program is under development. The financial intermediaries are yet to be selected. The main purpose of this program is aimed at economic growth, the benefits of which would uh, remain or be directed to uh, Republic of Bulgaria, as well as based on knowledge, environmental, sustainability and social inclusion. The main priorities are bringing the gap between citizens and business, commercialization and internationalization of research and development, as well as promoting innovation. The program is targeted towards uh, newly established enterprises, as well as micro enterprises, small and medium size, uh, and large enterprises, including their divisions and joint ventures, which cooperate with the other enterprises, such as universities or research organizations. Uh, because this program is very closely enticed to research and development, uh, the enterprises are specifically named and specific and innovative uh, organizations and bodies are, should be selected or specifically uh, research and development organizations and enterprises. Enterprises engage in research activities, intermediaries for in the field of innovation and technology. In practice, the fund could invest in any company that provides technology transfer. The fund uh, strategy is further supported uh, is further supported by the idea that the fund should invest in the specific activities, projects defined uh, in the four board categories: mechatronics, clean technology information and information technology, health living and biotechnology industry, new technologies in creative and uh, recreational uh, industries. Lastly, invest investments can be made in the form of equity or quasi equity investments as the previous instruments that I uh, previous instrument that I talked about and the uh, the amount of the support is up to 10 million uh, leva. Uh, next, I will talk about the uh, Mezzanine Growth Fund. This fund is um, under development on October 21st, the, uh, 2019. An investment intermediary was selected to manage the fund, but there is no further update uh in the in the site of the uh, of the fund of funds the program will provide access to alternative financing for small and medium sized enterprises with growth potential and with plans to expand and improve their activities enter new markets and develop new products and services the implementation of the financial instrument will lead to an increase in the uh, productivity of the export potential of uh, Bulgarian uh, enterprises. Along with the business goals, the uh, management, the management capacity and corporate, corporate, corporate uh, governance of the fina uh, fina uh, financed enterprises will be focused into the development phase. The mechanism of support here as well is quasi-equity uh, as well as equity investments, a significant part of which will be provided in the form of uh, mezzanine financing. Mezzanine is actually a form of quasi-equity investments falling between the capital and debt financing in, general, in the general case, it provides an opportunity for companies to attract risk financing without necessary 
leading uh, to the transfer of significant share in their ownership to new investors. The amount of the support is ranging from 4.9 million to 13.7 million leva. The term of the uh, support here is up to five years with uh, uh, possibility to expand that to 10 years. The fund itself, it, the fund itself uh, supports the development of the Bulgarian competitiveness and Bulgarian small and medium medium-sized enterprises in a mature state. So no, not startups, but into the mature state, meaning more than five years into the, the development. It will provide access to alternative financing for the enterprises with growing potential and plans for expansion, improving activities, enter new markets and developing, developing uh, new products. For the next uh, warranty schemes that we will provide will be presented. I'm giving the floor to Attorney Borodjev. Are you here with me? I am. Okay. Okay. So the warranty schemes or guarantee schemes include uh, several types of guarantees and guarantee portfolios. The most important of which is the capped portfolio guarantee to overcome the consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic. So it's something new. Um, at the moment, the fund is in negotiations with the commercial banks in Bulgaria. The term in which we can expect to be open for the market is in the next few weeks. The purpose of the support is to provide current funding for small and medium-sized enterprises experiencing financial difficulties due to the state of emergency. Institutions providing the guarantee are the commercial banks that have agreed to participate in the fund, fund measures. The target groups uh, for which the program is intending, intended are the uh, SMEs. The requirements are the following, operating enterprises in Bulgaria, experiencing, experience, experiencing a shortage of working capital or expecting difficult, difficulties in repaying their obligations under an already concluded loan agreement due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the declared state of emergency. The aim is to provide the financing without additional administrative burdens for the applicant companies under the easiest possible conditions. It is likely to specify a deadline within which these loans can be applied for, but up to now we don't have it. Uh, and other requirements may be requir applied as well. Um, the capped portfolio guarantee for new loans uh, to SMEs and interest rate subsidy uh, include investment financing with the possibility of up to 24 months grace period and working capital financing, including amor uh, amortized loans with the possibility of up to 12 months grace period, revolving credit line and overdraft, including loans to overcome financial difficulties, which are also due to uh, the COVID-19 out outbreak. And loans for ref, uh, refinancing of restructuring or restructuring of existing loans to final res recipients are not eligible up to now. The maximum supported amount is to 200,000 euro per enterprise for a period of three years. Each borrower, uh, each um, uh, entity could receive more than one loan until the, the minimis uh, threshold is reached. The maximum repayment period is ranging from 12 to 12 months to 10 years. The term of revolving loans or overdrafts is up to 60 months. The grace period is not specified yet. Uh, it is assumed that an extended grace period on the principal will be uh, provided. And they're ensuring a low interest rate, but still we don't have the exact interest rate. And the structure of the collateral is determined according to the credit policy of the partner bank, reflecting the effect of the portfolio guarantee. So it should be um, 
not a big uh, collateral. Mm, there is as well a capped portfolio guarantee, which is an existing pro program of the fund. It, it is targeting two strategic uh, strategic areas of the uh, country, energy uh, efficiency, uh, energy efficiency and in, uh, innovation. The intermediaries of that uh, second type of uh, guarantee are Desica Bank, United, uh, UBB First Investment Bank, European uh, Bulgaria, uh, excuse me, Eurobank Bulgaria. Um, as well, there is there are guarantees under the operational program Human Resources Development. Uh, the micro loans to be provided will be targeted at startups, including those of people from vulnerable groups, unemployed for more than six months, young people under the age of 29, including people with uh, disabilities and social enterprises. The funds will be used to finance activities related to the acquisition of tangible or intangible assets, working capital in connection with the development or expansion of the activity of the enterprise or the self-employed individual, development and improvement of the skills of employees or um, the entrepreneur in case of self-employment. On December 19, uh, 2009, initial offers were received from Unicredit Bull Bank for, the, uh, for three separate positions of the instrument. Mm, consideration and negotiations on the submitted documents are forthcoming. And next we're going to present you the um, uh, funds from Bulgarian Small and Medium Enterprises Promotion Agency for which I'm giving the floor to Dobri. Uh, so uh, primarily the agency is involved into the National Innovation Fund. Uh, this is a program that that provides grants for project, meaning uh, gratuitous, uh, for projects that uh, in the field of research and development. The 11th session of the fund is about to start, which will be announced on the, on the official site of the Bulgarian agency. The main goal of the fund is to promote the scientific and research, research and development activities. The direct uh, objective of the fund is to promote the implementation of scientific and research projects and projects for technical feasibility with the aim to, of uh, acquiring new or improved products. The process or services designed to raise the economic uh, efficiency, improve the uh, innovative uh, potential and technological level of enterprises, the increase private investments and enhance the dynamics of uh, innovative processes. The thematic area uh, within which the separate research and development projects should fall and which will be financed by the fund are Again, uh, mechatronics and clean technology, information and communication technologies, uh, health, healthy living industries and biotechnologies, new technologies in the creative and recreational industries. The other main program here is Eurostar 2. It provides opportunity for joint national and European funding of international research uh, uh, projects. The requirement uh, is designed to find at least two legal entities from the different member countries with the uh, lead uh, person being the small or medium sized enterprise or enterprise operating in the field of research and technology. Uh, there is also a project that I just mentioned uh, that is participation of uh, small and medium-sized enterprises in international fairs, publication and co uh, conferences in, uh, in the country and abroad. Uh, for the details we can, uh, we can give you, but they are very little at the moment. So for the next uh, product, that would be the European uh, Investment Fund. Uh, I think that uh, attorney Borodjeva will talk about that. Yeah. 
So there are various programs that are financed through the European Investment Fund. And according to the mechanisms, the financing is in the form of guarantee loans, capital investments or grants. Grants are released under various op uh, operational programs where beneficiaries apply with a project. Guarantee loans, on the other hand, and capital investments are granted through intermediaries uh, and in the presentation we will focus on the most important financing options provided by the EIF regarding the economic situation. One uh, of the programs uh, actually is uh, something that the fund uh, is uh, organizing now. It's, the, it's a response measures to the COVID-19 pandemic. Thus, the EIF will be able to issue special guarantees in order to uh, incentivize uh, banks and other lenders to provide liquidity for small and medium enterprises and small mid-cap companies affected by the economic impact of the COVID-19. The guarantees will be offered under the existing COSME loan guarantee facility supported by the uh, European um, Fund for Structural Investment and the Innofin uh, SME guarantee under Horizon 2020. The main purposes of the support will include the temporary measure to support small and medium enterprises and mid-caps during the crisis, uh, working capital and multi-purpose loans, including refin uh, refi uh, refinancing, allow allowing for more flexible terms, including postponement, rescheduling or payment holidays. The institutions offering the product will be shortly published on the website of the uh, European Investment Fund. Target group for the program is yet again small uh, and medium sized enterprises. The term of the loan will be up to 10 years with the possibility of payment holiday. holiday. So as this program uh, will be organized under the COSME program and the Innofin program, I will just uh, tell you the most important about those facilities. So the COSME loan guarantee facility support, um, supports guarantees and uh, counter guarantees to financial institutions to help them provide more loans and lease finance to small and micro enterprises. Cosmic Guarantee Facility is suitable for all startups, small and medium enterprises with a staff of up to 249 uh, people working in a wide range, range of economic sectors. The eligible finance covers working capital, tangible and intangible investments, business transfer. The repayment terms are now facilitated and they apply to existing or new transactions to be covered by the guarantee until the uh, the termination date. Thus, uh, now there is a possibility for postponement, rescheduling, or credit holiday period treated as restructuring up to now. Cosme loans are provided free of charge for the guarantee, which does not increase the cost of the financing for the companies. The type of the types of loans under that program are investment, revolving credit, convertible loans for startups. 50, the 50% 50 guarantee is now increased to 80%, supplementing the uh, collateral for investment and revolving loans. Minimum amount of the revolving loans is uh, 26,000 euro, with rollover period increased from five to nine years. The maximum amount of the loans is up to uh, 150,000 euro. The term of the loan ranges from 12 months to 10 years and the possibility for grace period is up to 12 months. The newly granted loan cannot be used to refi refinance old loans. It's possible that this requirement is changed, but up to now and the refinancing is not allowed. Companies whose ultimate controlling owners are registered in an offshore zone are not eligible under the war uh, warranty scheme. Intermediaries, intermediaries in Bulgaria will be UBB, Raiffeisen Bank, uh, Desica Bank and Unicredit Bull Bank. 
the equity facility for growth which is a program under the cosme again uh, helps to provide risk capital to small and medium enterprises through intermediary funds mainly at the stage of expansion and growth and the horizon 2020 program covers financial instruments aimed to uh, facilitate and accelerate access to finance for innovative uh, business across Europe. In particular, the InnoFin uh, Small and Medium um, Enterprises Guarantee Facility provides guarantees and counter guarantees on debt financing of between 25,000 and 7.5 million to improve access to finance for innovative uh, SMEs and mid caps. Under Innofin um, program, a facility managed by the, which is a facility managed by the European Investment Fund, financial intermediaries, banks, and are the banks and other financial institutions. So, just a few words for the Innofin guarantee scheme, which is now changed in order to meet the problems with the pandemic. Eligible applicants under Innofin are micro, small, medium and intermediate enterprises, uh, companies that invest in development and implementation of new products, processes or services that are innovative. Um, the repayment terms are now facilitated and they apply to existing or new transactions to be covered by the guarantee until the termination date. Thus, uh, now there is a possibility for postponement, rescheduling, or credit holiday period. And in order to be eligible for Innofin, the applicant company must meet at least one of the criteria for innovation of the guarantee scheme. Up to now, the verification was performed by the bank banker, but now with the amendments, uh, the independent confirmations of those criteria is replaced by self-declaration by the applicant. The newly granted loan can now be used to refinance old loans and leases. The 50% guarantee is as well here increased to 80%, supplementing the collateral for the loan. The amended repayment terms now include postponement, as I said, and rescheduling. The minimum loan term is 12 months, and the maximum is from 36 months for revolving loans up to, and the, 10 years for repayment loans. Uh, yeah, I said that um, now restructuring is allowed and refinancing. And the types of loans that are included in the program are investment and working capital loans, including overdraft and revolving loans, as well as leasing. Possi there is a possibility for grace period up to 12 months. Um, I would just mention that there is um, another program, European program, which is the Employment and Social Innovation Program. It is a funding instrument at um, European level to promote high quality and sustainable employment. Um, and now I'm giving the floor to Dobri to present you the um, European Bank for Reconstruction and Development uh, Program. Okay, so regarding the European Bank for uh, Recognition and uh, Reconstruction and Development, uh, the bank itself can help enterprises get uh, business advice or f uh, funding through small business support program. The funding is provided through new credit lines and guarantee schemes. The bank has a team assisting in obtaining uh, cons uh, consulting services, uh, two thirds of the consulting costs are borne by the bank. A company uh, that is applying must meet the following criteria in order to be approved. Uh, it should have up to 50 million annual turnover and balance sheet uh, number up to 43 million. The bank, uh, the bank usually work with companies with less than 250 employees. Ownership should be uh, private companies 
and owned by local citizens, in this case, Bulgarians. Uh, history, uh, at least two years of, uh, of uh, banking history and uh, development history, as well as uh, uh, sectors that companies are actually in, uh, included in all, from all sectors uh, of the industries. Companies uh, operating in tobacco and gambling are not, uh, uh, not foreseen for this program. The next, uh, the next uh, program that I'm gonna and fund that I'm gonna present to you would be the municipal guarantee fund. Let me just change the slide. Uh, so this fund is developed by Sofia Municipality and has the mission of providing loan guarantees for small and medium-sized enterprises that have uh, economically sound projects but cannot uh, secure sufficient uh, bankable collateral. The Municipal Guarantee Fund covers part of the credit risk and uh, secures up to 50% of the annual uh, of the amount of the uh, loan principal or up to 150,000 lever. This is the main warranty scheme under this fund. Uh, nevertheless, the requirements for the enterprises uh, that, are, that are applying is for them to have their headquarters on the ter territory of the Sofia municipality or their business project uh, should be realized on, the, on this exact territory of the municipality. As well as uh, uh, they have to have the collateral on the loan with uh, liquidation value as uh, assessed by the bank for at least 60% of the value of the loan. Uh, regarding finance, uh, financing innovative startups program, uh, this is a uh, specialized guarantee schemes uh, and has developed uh, in implementation of uh, the innovative, innovative strategies for smart speciali uh, speciali specialization in uh, Sofia. It is aimed at facilitating the access of startups and innovative enterprises to financial uh, resources in connection with the realization of their projects, business projects. If you're interested, because uh, uh, for this project there's a lot of information on this site of the uh, municipality, if you're interested, we can provide that uh, for further information uh, after the presentation. Uh, for the next very hot topic, I'll give the floor for, to uh, Attorney Borodjeva. Yeah. Uh, okay, so last but not least, uh, I will tell you some more about the operational program Innovation and Competitiveness. Uh, that has two procedures, and the first procedure opened just today. It's called Procedures uh, Supporting Micro and Small Enterprises to Address the Economic Impact of the COVID-19 uh, Pandemic. And the procedure will provide grants for the applicants. The budget which will be provided amounts to 173 million and the support shall cover all economic sectors despite those supported by the Rural Development Program. The support mechanism chosen is a grant that uh, will cover the most pressing needs of business. Only basic information on um, the amount of fun funding requested, only basic information, uh, amount of funding requested, as well as the company bank account and filling in declarations will be required. All inspections will be carried out by the authorities on an official basis. So for that application, you need a valid qualified electronic signature of the representative or his or her authorized person with explicit written, written power of attorney, as well as um, you need to have filed annual tax declaration for 2019 before the National Revenue Agency in accordance with the provisions of the tax law. Eligible applicants are micro and small enterprises legal entities or sole traders registered upon the Commercial Act and the Cooperatives Act with the staff up to 15 employees, registered before 1st of July 2019 with a business conducting, 
Um, minimum turnover for 2019, 30,000 leva. And the company should be registered should have registered decrease of at least 20% in April 22 uh, uh, turnover compared to the average monthly turnover in 2019. Um, that were not, uh, those are companies that were not undertaking in difficulty to 31st of December 2019 and companies which do not have obligation for taxes and social security contributions in the amount of more than 1% of the amount of the annual turnover for the last completed financial year or more than 50,000 leva, as well as not to have such obligations established by an act of uh, state body. The minimum uh, grant will be 3,000 leva and the maximum is uh, 10,000 leva. And there is one more requirement. The applicant's grant requested shall not exceed 10% of the, uh, the 2019 turnover. The term for implementing of the project uh, will be within three months. The eligible expenses, those are expenses needed to overcome the shortage of funds or lack of liquidity resulting from the COVID-19 epidemic for raw materials, supplies and consumables for external services, including uh, utility costs for staff, including the costs of salaries and the cost of social security and health, ins health insurance contributions at the expense of the employer excluding the costs of staff assisted under the measure 60 to 40. Um, the eligible expenses uh, uh, have to be incur uh, incurred after 1st of February this year. The application deadline is uh, 15th of June. The uh, project proposals that meet the evalu uh, evaluation criteria in will be evaluated in the order they are received and will be funded until the financial resources under the procedures are exhausted. So it's possible that today we have um, too much applications and the resource is exhausted uh, with them. Submitted project proposals for which no financial resources are available are not subject to evaluation. So if you want to participate in this program, it's good to organize everything today or maybe tomorrow. And for incorrectly declared circumstances during the application, the beneficiaries and authorized persons bear criminal responsibility on the basis of um, normative acts. The, uh, the, the operational program has one more procedure which will open maybe in a month. It's uh, called the digitalization of small and medium, medium enterprises, and it will provide grants upon projects. Uh, the budget of the procedure is approximately uh, 60 uh, million. So we wait uh, for its opening, maybe, as I said, in a month or two. And to, just to mention that there is a rural development program if you are more interested in it as well, we'll provide more information. And with that, I think we covered all of the instruments we wanted to. So now we are open for questions. So that would be the presentation of give you the last slide here you can contact us uh, nevertheless we are open for questions uh, for any of the program if we can answer them we can uh, uh, during the webinar we can do that or you can we can do that after that if you uh, target your questions to the uh, organizing party whatever uh, whatever suits you so we are open for questions. Thank you very much for, for the very interesting and thorough presentation. Um, I don't see any questions in the chat. 
but uh, the the theme is very specific, and I suppose that uh, uh, if uh, members have questions, they'll be more detailed and technical, and it will be worth uh, contacting you directly or through us. Uh, so if uh, any of the participants have uh, further questions or just would like to discuss uh, the different opportunities and to find the most suitable for them uh, solution, uh, I really invite them all to contact us uh, or directly you. So uh, if I don't see written questions, but if um, some of you would like to ask directly a question, please do. Uh, we have uh, still uh, some minutes uh, to the end of the webinar as uh, it is planned. So is there anyone who would like to ask a question? Okay, if there are no questions, as I said, you're invited to, to send us uh, uh, later if you have some. So thank you very much uh, for your presentation. Uh, it's a very specific uh, topic, um, but uh, the companies don't uh, always um, have enough information about the opportunities. And in these times of difficulty, it's uh, really important to, to use all the available uh, instruments uh, to support the companies. Thank you very much to everyone for the participation and see you at our next webinar. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for the organization and thank you all for participation in the webinar. Thank you. Thank you and we remain available at uh, our address and the, uh, we await the questions that you have for the specific uh, products. So, Thank you. Thank you for this.